and welcome back. Uh, before we get started today, just a quick heads up that in May, these meditations will be going up every other week. So the next one to be posted will be on May 13th. Uh, now that said, today we're going to play with this idea of flipping the script on um, some narratives that we commonly tell ourselves. So the, the idea behind that is that we tend to get stuck in these ruts or patterns of behavior that sort of end up becoming self-fulfilling prophecies in their own way. Um, so for example, if I define myself as an angry person, it kind of gives me the green light to respond to any situation um, with anger because I tell myself that's just who I am. Um, so the longer that we live with these patterns of behavior, the harder it can be to break out of them. And when we flatten ourselves out like that, by extension, it just kind of flattens out the rest of our lives. Um, and it can stop us from really participating in our own lives in that way. Um, aside from that, pretty much everyone has at least one thing they can point to and say, I don't like that about myself. Um, so I figured it would be one that uh, hopefully we can all benefit from in at least some way. So let's dig into it. So as usual, take your time to find a comfortable position. So I could be seated or otherwise today. And if possible, set yourself up somewhere away from distractions. Closing the eyes or softening your gaze. And start to check in with your body, see if anything's calling for your attention today. Checking in with your breath, noticing how it moves through the body today. And checking in with your heart space, if there's any emotions you're feeling. Checking in with your head space. And keep smoothing out your breath. Let yourself fully arrive in this space. Noticing how you're not just one of these things, but you're all of these things. You're your physical body, your emotions, your thoughts. And try as we might, we can't ever fully separate them out. Now start to identify an unhelpful narrative that you have about yourself. And try to distill it into just one short phrase. So I'm going to use I am impatient as an example today. But plug in your own as we go. And this could also have something to do with your current circumstances. So maybe I have no personal space or I feel lonely. It doesn't have to be a personality trait. And take your time here. Allow yourself to really be honest about what you're feeling and about the things that you tell yourself. be more than one thing shows up. And sometimes this type of self-inquiry feels difficult and challenging and sometimes it feels more of a relief.
Just sitting with this narrative, how does it feel physically? Has your breathing changed as you focus on this narrative? Does it bring along its own emotional or mental baggage? And try to observe all of these different things without judgment, just seeing if you can notice them. Now thinking about what the opposite of that would be. So maybe the phrase you settled on has a natural opposite. I am patient, I have space, I am connected. Or maybe it's more of an intuitive thing that feels right to you, even if you couldn't explain it. Try not to define these things as a wish, but as an affirmation. So instead of, I wish I was more patient, I would say, I am patient. Start to think what it would feel like to set down your current identity and try on this new one. You can think big or small on this. So would it be life-changing or would it be more of a slight but welcome shift in perspective? Allow yourself to be unburdened here. And again, observe without judgment how this new narrative feels in your physical body. Any changes in your breathing. Any changes in your head space or in your heart space? And sit with this new identity for the next few moments and slowly practice reinforcing this new narrative, this new way of being. So that could be repeating your new phrase, I am patient, or whatever yours might be. Or maybe it feels better to be more of a work in progress. I am impatient, but I'm working on it. words aren't what resonate with you the best. Maybe it's more feelings and visuals. And as you continue this, new words or ideas might call for your attention and that's okay. Let yourself spend some time with each idea as it arises. Allowing yourself to try things on and just notice what feels best. And 
with each inhale you take, gather up the things that will help you serve this new identity, this new way of being. And with each exhale, letting go of the things that you don't need anymore that hold you back. This won't happen overnight, there is no quick fix. So let yourself practice taking what you need and leaving what you don't. And finally, hands can stay here where they are, they can come to your heart. Releasing all judgments, all narratives, all thoughts and emotions. With your next few rounds of breath, simply repeat, I am. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. And thank you as always for joining me and I'll see you next time.